Welcome to Chaos and Cryptography. I first of all thank all the viewers for showing your interest in this field. I receive a number of topics requesting to upload new videos, but due to my schedule, sometimes there's a delay in uploading videos. Nevertheless, I'm doing my best to continue to upload videos. I thank all the viewers for being patient in this. For all the new viewers, this video is dedicated to topics related to chaos and cryptography. How chaos plays a pivotal role in cryptography, the various chaotic maps and systems, and how it is used to generate secret keys for an encryption process. If you haven't subscribed, I request you to subscribe and continue watching this video. There are a number of performance measures to find the strength of a cipher image. Some are MSE and PSNR, UACI and NPCR, correlation coefficient of the image. I have already uploaded few videos on the other topics and today we will see how to find the correlation coefficient of a given image. Correlation coefficient defines the statistical measures or the relationships between two variables. Here the variables are adjacent pixel values of an image. The value of R is in the range minus 1 to 1. A plane image has a very high correlation between the adjacent pixels. The role of any encryption process is to distort this correlation and therefore a cipher image must have very less correlation between the adjacent pixels. The task of the correlation coefficient is to find this value. The correlation coefficient of any given image is generally found in three directions, namely vertical, horizontal and diagonal. This means that we find the correlation between two adjacent pixels in the vertical direction, in the horizontal direction and in the diagonal direction. So let us say we find the column coefficient that is between the pairs of pixels in two adjacent columns. So in that case, x is a pixel value in the column 1 and y is a pixel value in column 2. So first we find E of x which means it is the mean value of, of all the pixels in the first column. Then we find D of x which is we find the difference between each pixel value and the mean value found. We square it and finally we find the average that is by dividing by n where n is the number of pixels in the given column. The third formula is used to find the covariance between the two columns x and y. And finally, the correlation coefficient in the column direction that is between two columns is calculated using r is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by square root of d of x into d of y. As seen before, in a plane image, the correlation between the pairs of pixels is very high and therefore we get the value of r closer to 1. Whereas in an encrypted image, the correlation between the adjacent pixels is distorted and therefore we receive value very close to 0. 
So, this is the procedure to find the correlation coefficient in the three directions that is between pairs of pixels taking in two different columns or two adjacent rows or two adjacent diagonals. In the next video, we will see the code used to find the correlation coefficient of a plain image and an encrypted image. I have also listed the links of the videos to find MSE and PSNR, UACI and NPCR. So, these are other important performance measures to find the strength of a cipher image. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on chaos and cryptography.